Nighttime by Maurice Pledger. As dusk creeps over the shady woodland, a lone owl sweeps through the still sky on silent wings. It spies a mouse scurrying below, and in a flash the owl plummets to the ground and it seizes its victim with its deadly talons. For a moment, its echoing hoot fills the night air and then silence. What does the word plummets mean? What does the word talons mean? Look at the talons on the owl's feet. The owl uses them to grab its food, the mouse. Can you create a simple food chain using this page? Look at the sun setting in the west. When the sun rises in the morning, what direction does it rise in? I hope you said the east. What ecosystem is this? Are you familiar with the animals on this page? All is peaceful in the dusty scrubland. The air hums with the steady sound of cicadas. Suddenly, there is a rush of flapping wings. The sky fills with a cloud of bats pouring out into the night sky. They dart and circle swiftly, hunting the moths that circle around in the sky, the moths that flutter in the warm breeze. What do bats eat? Should we be afraid of them? I hope you said no, as they truly are wonderful for our ecosystem and usually they don't bother anyone at all. They usually eat insects that are pesky and some that even have disease. That can help us and our ecosystems. Sometimes bats eat fruit. How many bats are there, I wonder? What do they look like? Where do they live? What other types of animals come out in the nighttime? How are moths important to our ecosystem? The ghostly howl of wolves echoes through the desolate valleys of the Rocky Mountains. A timid deer pricks her ears, then springs away to hide and among the shadowy crags. In the dark undergrowth, a tiny mouse pauses, tense, twitching its nose to sniff the cool night air, alert all the danger that is there. What does the word desolate mean? What does the word timid mean? Look at this phrase, shadowy crags. Why would a deer want to hide in a shadowy crag? Look at this snail. What do you know about snails? What do they eat? Wait, I see a decomposer. Do you? There it is. What is it? It's a mushroom, of course. How do mushrooms help our soil? What food webs could you possibly create with this picture?
The warbling calls of bullfrogs linger in the murky marshland air. Deadly nighttime hunters wait silently, preparing to strike. Splash. An alligator flings itself from the water, seizing a bullfrog in one quick snap before disappearing beneath the cloudy water. As the ripples disperse, the swamp's surface becomes still once more. What type of ecosystem is this one? Would you want to be here at nighttime? Why or why not? Listen to this phrase. As the ripples disperse, the swamp's surface becomes still once more. What does that mean? The swamp's surface becomes still once more. Look at the snails in this ecosystem. I observed there's a lot more snails in this page than the other pages. I wonder why. Why are there so many snails here and not on the other pages? First shafts of sunlight slant through the dense trees at dawn. The jungle creatures slowly emerge into the morning. The silence is shattered by the mighty roar of a stealthy tiger returning from her hunt, followed by the piercing cry of a peacock. A new day in the jungle has begun. Look at this ecosystem. Where is it? What parts of the world have dense jungles like this? What's happening to our jungles? How is this ecosystem different than the others that you've seen in this book? What does the phrase, stealthy tiger returning from her hunt mean? Did you know that stealthy means to be cautious or sly, secretive? Why do tigers need to be stealthy? Listen to this sentence. The tiger uses stealthy footsteps so its prey won't know it is there. Can you use the word stealthy in another sentence? I'm wondering what food chains and food webs could I create using this picture? I hope you've enjoyed this book. I hope it's a quick refresher of some life sciences, the concepts that we learned in fifth grade.